Hello, this is Quinn Rush, and today I'm going to show you how to make this planet or Saturn charm. It's actually really easy. And I'm going to make a purple Saturn this time, even though Saturn is not purple. So first, just like a regular circle, you're going to put two purple bands here and go down twice Oops. and close twice and back into the middle and your arrows will be facing away from you and now you're going to do the same thing on the other side diagonally to the left and then down once and twice then go back into the middle now in the middle you're going to fill it in so go down three times with two purple bands every time or whatever hole you choose so you did one two three and now you're going to put some horizontal bands you're going to put one here and bring it up or I mean down to make a triangle and you're going to do that here too and you're going to need a cat band I'm going to wrap mine around four times so Putting on counts as one. Well, I'm going to push it down first. Now, one, two, three, and four. Now, you're going to take your hook, you're going to turn it so that the arrows are facing away from you. And you're going to push back the cap band. Don't push back anything besides the cap band. And you're going to grab the top two, which should go up. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and finish looping up the top. I mean, the middle. And I promise that I am not messing up by not adding the rings right now. Whenever the videos I watched did something weird, I would think, wait, that's wrong. But it's not. And now I'm going to grab the next two. Oops, I only grabbed one and it was a cat band. I grab the cap band again. Okay, I finally grabbed one. Sorry this is taking so long. I have it facing away from me because this camera does everything backwards. Okay. So you should have grabbed both of them and brought them over to this peg to make a teardrop shape right here. Now you're going to push those back, grab the bottom two, loop them up, push back the triangle band, and move the bottom two up, and I'm going to go ahead and do this last one here at the top. I'm sorry, I went off camera, and I'm going to push that down a little bit. Now this one should be easier. I'm going to go back down to the bottom, and I'm going to grab those bottom two. these two these two and the last two 
and I'm going to use my hook and pull up the cat band. These bands, these bands, these bands. But I'm not going to let go to these bands. Actually, I am. You can also just put your hook in here and take it off with your fingers. I'm going to put my hook in this peg. Go around to the back. And pull it off. And so that's just a circle. A purple circle. Now I'm going to take a band. You can use one or two bands. Put it on the end of the hook, and I'm the band. The bands are kind of naturally divided into pairs, so I'm going to grab the first pair you see and pull it over onto that band. Now the second pair. Now the third pair. Now the fourth pair, fifth pair, and sixth and last pair. And I'm gonna, and now I'm gonna put the other end of my hook. <laughs> and that was my brother, by the way. And slide this back one over the edge of the hook. And <laughs> and pull tight. And now, grab whatever color you're using for the ring. I'm using darker purple. I already made one like this, but I lost it. And now, you're gonna go... Okay, you see in here? In the middle, there's the top pair, the middle pair, and the bottom pair. You wanna go through the middle one. Not both sides, just one side. So if you can't even be in there, should, I, I mean, if you can't be in there, you hook, you should have one, two, three, four. So you should have four bands on your hook. Four loops on your hook. And now you're going to take two of your ring color put them on the edge of your hook and now you're going to slide your Saturn onto it and put the band on your finger onto the hook. So it's like you're making a single chain coming out from this but instead of actually making a single chain see the one in the middle right next to it on the other side, see on this side there's actually one, two, three, four. But this one right here, the second one from the bottom is the one we're going to call the middle one. And we're going to stick our hook to the front layer. Grab two bands. Oops. I lost them. and pull over the pr light purple and then pull over so I pulled over the light purple and now you're going to pull over the other part of your ring onto that purple so now you have four purple loops on there it's actually one band but it's four loops and now you can either make long rings or small rings so I can do small rings, which I did on both of these Saturns here. Cause one turned out looking longer than the other. So what I'm going to do is if you want longer rings, then you're going to do it three times or four times. You can make them as long as you want. I'm just going to do two times. So, just like a single chain. One. No, I didn't stick my hook through any light purples this time. And then I'm going to do... Two, so that was the second one. 
And now, see how it's all coming from this side? You're going to flip it. So that you're on the other side now. And you're going to go through that one that's the second from the bottom. Try not to go through any horizontal bands. I went through one. And you can go like this. Do all four of those bands. And now I'm going to take two more ring color and pull the light purples over. Then pull my ring color over, which is dark purple. Reclaim. And I'm going to th go through the very middle one. Two more. Pull it through those. Oops. I messed up. So I'm going to put it through those purples again. Now grab these two ring color and pull them through. Actually, I'm going to pull this part over. Pull these over. And now pull all the ring colors over. And reclaim. And now the second from the bottom one right here. I'm going to go through that. Two more ring color. <laughs> My breath is being funny over there. Pull these over and I'll pull the ring color over. And reclaim. And now you're going to do the part that sticks out right here. And you see that it is actually has a hole in the middle. So it is actually like a ring but it's attached. And then I'm going to do two times. You can do as many times as you want. I'm going to go one. I'm using two bands this whole time, by the way. And this is the second time. And now, let's see, you might look kind of floppy on this slide. But all you have to do is push it up. Now you're going to flip it over. And you're going to go in through the second to the bottom. And you're going to pull all those bands over. Be clean. And now you're back to the beginning. But what I'm actually going to do is this band here. Pull it apart. See how I pulled it apart now? And now I'm going to go through here. The same band where I started, but I'm going to go in between that first band, if you know what I mean. It doesn't really matter, it just looks neater this way. I use this part as the back because it looks weird. Okay. Now I'm going to go through the purple and then through these two purples. I'm going to put it back on the hook. Now I'm going to take these closer to the back of the hook and pull them over the hook and I'm going to pull that tight and I got these big hang loops so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the front push these back and go in right about where that is and I'm going to come out here on this side. It's just like normal loop fighting. Uh, I think. And I'm going to pull.
pull it through to the front. And you see in the front here, so I keep going up here. I have these two bands, same two bands, and now I'm going to put it to the back and go through right here where it started. I'm going to poke it in the front out of one of these purple ones. You could have, it doesn't have to be actually in the ring, but just somewhere. And I'm going to pull it back through and you can still see those in the back. But I'm just going to pull it and they should disappear a little bit. And if you don't want this, then you can just pull it through somewhere besides in the ring. Kind of behind the ring. And see the rings are actually rings. They're just kind of attached. Shoot it. Okay, I did actually shoot it. <laughs> And I hit the keyboard. Now I gotta put all these bands back. And I also have a video for this little alien, which you can. You can either make that mouth, or you can put a smiling mouth, like this guy here, or this mouth. I think this guy's the cutest alien I have. And there's also this one. These two were my original designs, and this one was different, and his arms are less loose. So he's more bendable and stuff. And I will put a link to that in the description. And now what else is there? find anything I'll make. <laughs> I put it on this bag and then I lose it in the bag. So please check out the alien. And if you want me to make anything, please ask in the comments. I love the challenge. Oh yeah, I also have the alien in 3D. And I think this one's too cute. And I like his little eyes. Okay, that's it. Bye.